Hey there! My name is James, and I am a virtual expert of Mirhead Company. Ethereum Private Network is a private blockchain completely isolated from the main Ethereum network. Typically, private networks are created by organizations to store personal data that should not be visible to people outside the organization. In addition, the private network Ethereum can be used for testing and experiments with the blockchain. Features of Private Ethereum Blockchain the private network blockchain is not affiliated with the main Ethereum chain. Access to the network is limited to one or more nodes. Creating private Ethereum networks for free. The complexity of mining is set during the creation. Free transactions. So in this video, you will find out how to start Ethereum private blockchain with Geth and also touch on the mechanics of Ethereum private networks. Before proceeding with the practical part of our instructions, a few important points should be made regarding the Ethereum mechanism and what Geth is and how to use it. If you do not go into the technical nuances, then we can say that Ethereum is a network of many nodes, or E5M, Ethereum Virtual Machine. E5M is software that can understand a set of instructions written according to certain rules, for example, to start a transaction, smart contracts, applications, and execute them on the Ethereum network in a certain logical order, like a normal computer. To start a private blockchain, your computer must become a node in the Ethereum network. That is, you need to download the entire blockchain network and synchronize it with the main chain of Ethereum. We can use various tools for this, but we need those that allow us to interact with the blockchain network. Geth, Go Ethereum. The implementation of the Go programming language for Ethereum is called Geth. This is one of the three initial implementations of the Ethereum protocol, along with Python and C++. Choose this tool if you have at least minimal web development experience and want to experiment or create professional interfaces for dApps. PyTap, a Python-based client that implements the Ethereum cryptoeconomic finite state machine. You need to choose if you are interested in developing dApps or academic studies of the Ethereum network. C++, choose if you are serious about mining on the GPU or need to increase security by running two program implementations. Using these tools, you can access the console or terminal, a JavaScript environment containing all the basic functions that we will need later. Access to the console is the main thing you need to start the private Ethereum blockchain. So ultimately it's not particularly important which tool you choose. We chose Geth to create this guide because it is the most popular and relatively easy to use. Geth is a command line interface tool, CLI, that connects your system and equipment to the Ethereum network. With Geth you can carry out financial transactions, mine Ether, create smart contracts, decentralized applications, create private blockchains, and explore the block history. The client can be downloaded from geth.ethereum.org. There are builds for Ubuntu, OSX, Windows, and even Android. Instructions on what to do after downloading the distribution kit are located in the install section. After we have installed and synchronized Geth with Ethereum, we can start the launch of a private or test network. This is the best way to learn blockchain technologies as you can create, deploy and test smart contracts and decentralized applications within the Ethereum private network without spending a single live Ether. Moreover, you can create a fake Ether and use it to carry out a transaction and initialize smart contracts. Step 1. Create the Datadir folder. When running your own blockchain, it is strongly recommended to use a separate folder for storing data, database and wallet of a private network. This is necessary for Ethereum private network files. Do not replace files with a public one. To do this, do the following. Create an empty folder on your desktop. For example, with the name previous Akane 3. Right-click on the created folder and select Git Bash here. If everything is OK, the system will show the following. Step 2. Create a Genesis block. As you probably know, the blockchain is a distributed digital register in which all transactions are recorded in chronological order in the form of blocks. Blocks are generated during the mining process and added to the blockchain chain. The number of blocks is unlimited, but there is always one separate block that gave rise to the whole chain, the Genesis block. To create a private blockchain, you first need to generate a Genesis block. To do this, you need to create a Genesis file, write the necessary commands into it, and use it with Geth. You can create a Genesis file with the necessary attributes using any text editor, for example, Notepad. The name of the Genesis file can be any. The main thing is to specify the extension, Sean. In our induction, 
the name Custom Genesisin will be used. After creating the Genesis file, open geth and enter the following command. This command instructs geth to use the Custom Genesisin file we previously created to generate the first block of the private blockchain Ethereum. The path to folder attribute is the folder where you saved the Genesis file. Whereas the attribute path to your data directory indicates the folder in which the data of our private chain will be stored, created in the first step. When you run the specified attribute, you will see how geth connects to the Genesis file and provides confirmation of the successful completion of the action. Step 3. Start the private network. So, we have created a Genesis block. Now you can run our private network so that we or other nodes, if you created several, can add new blocks. To do this, in the geth console, you need to initiate the command. This command instructs geth to launch a private blockchain and use the specified directory. Path to your data directory, replace the address of the desired folder to access the running network. The command also has the identifier 7776. It should be replaced with an arbitrary number that is not equal to the identifier of the networks already created. For example, the identifier of the main network Ethereum. Network it equals 1. The identifier network it equals 7776 also should not be used. Otherwise, you will connect to the network we have created for this guide. When you initiate the specified command with your identifier, you start your blockchain's private network. Another important point, Geth does not remember the parameters of your private blockchain network. So every time you want to access your private chain, you will need to run commands in the console that initiate a connection to the Genesis file and your private network. Keep them handy so you don't look for them every time. If everything is done correctly, by this moment you will have a personal blockchain and a private Ethereum network. And now you can begin to interact with this chain. Step 4. Create an externally owned account, EOA. There are two types of accounts on the Ethereum network. Externally owned accounts, EOA, and contracts accounts. You can find out about their capabilities and differences in the types of accounts, gas and transactions section on fdocs.org. To manage our blockchain network, we need EOA. To create it, you need to run geth in two windows. In the second window, console enter the following command. This will connect the second window to the terminal of the first window. Next you will be asked to set a password, the introduction of which initiates the creation of an account. Save the created account, as you will use it often. In addition, save the passphrase, because it will be needed every time you connect to your account. Next, we need to check the balance status of the account. Account balance must be zero. This is correct, because when starting a private network in the Genesis file, we did not specify anything in the alloc attribute. You can replenish the balance now in two ways, either someone will send you a little ether, or you will receive a reward for creating a new unit. And since you are now the only member of your private network, you have in fact, no choice. Step 5. Get some ether for our account. Mining on the main chain of Ethereum real is complex, and requires expensive equipment with powerful graphics processors. Usually ASICs are used for this. However, for the mining of coins of our chain, any device will be suitable. Since in the Genesis file, we set the mining difficulty low, difficulty attribute. If you use the fget balance command in the second geth window, you will see how the balance of your account is replenished with a fake ether. The speed of mining will be very high, so you can become a multimillionaire in just a couple of seconds. And remember that this is a fake ether. It can only be used within your private blockchain for testing transactions, smart contracts, decentralized applications and other functions. Congratulations! You created your first private Ethereum blockchain and got some ether. Yes, this is not real money and a test network. But the experience gained can be used to launch startups or integrate blockchain technologies into your own business. That's all for today. Thank you for watching our video. We develop blockchain-based platforms. Our experts have extensive experience in building complex high-load projects. As a rule, we use Ethereum and Bitcoin nodes, but we use Hyperledger, Fabric, or Corda to develop more flexible solutions. If you need any help, please let us know. Have a good day with Mirhead.